Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Flowtex. So a few months back, I created a video for relocking the bootloader using the MTK client real live DVD method for OnePlus Nord 2. You can check that from the iCard, but today I will tell you the simple method to relock your bootloader without using the MTK client real live DVD ISO. As I am on the Oxynos 11 A15 version, I will today lock this firmware. First, I will restore the same firmware using the partition backup restore fast boot method. Video regarding that is given in iCard, still I will show you the full process in this video also. You can restore any version you want and lock that. You need to first download the boot image, recovery and the VV meta files. Boot image is for the version for which you are restoring the partition backup like I am restoring the A15. So I will use the A15 boot image, VV meta is of same version but must be extracted from the update zip of version which you are restoring. Like here, I will restore the A15, so I will extract the VV meta from the update zip of A15. Recovery image should be anyone as given in the video description. Instead of this, keep the incremental update zip of version above which you are restoring. Like if I am restoring the A15 partition backup, update zip will be for the A16. Place this update zip in the pen drive, so we will need the one pen drive and the OTG. This only needed if you get the corrupt boot or the recovery message, otherwise keep the use of this tape. Keep the developer option and the USB debugging enabled in the developer setting of the phone. Keep the partition backup extracted firmware folder in the PC on the desktop. Place the ROM flasher bat given under the video description download and place it in the same folder. Transfer the boot, recovery and the VV meta in the separate folder on the desktop of your PC. Here I place it in the relock named folder. So all the preparation has been done, now without further ado, let's get started. New First connect the phone to the PC and open the PowerShell window from the drop down menu in any folder on the desktop or inside the platform tool folder. After pressing the shift plus right click of your mouse. Now type the command in the PowerShell window as the ADB reboot bootloader. Phone will boot to the bootloader mode. Now go to the extractor folder of the partition backup. First delete the SECC FG image file from the list of the images files. Now double click on the ROM flasher bat file. Immediately new CMD window will open asking to type yes or no, type yes and enter. So flashing of all partitions starts in this process. Phone will reboot several times between fastboot and fastboot D mode. It will flash all the partition but some partitions like the NV Data Protect, Pro Info, etc. will show you errors. Ignore them because these are the device specific partition not available in the partition backup. Once flashing gets completed, don't type anything in the window, just close it. On the phone, you will see it's running in the fastboot D mode. Here mine is the TWRP, so it looks like this. If you have stock recovery, it will look different. Tap reboot and select the bootloader mode and slide the bottom bar. In the normal stock recovery, select power of the phone and then long press all the volume up, down plus power button which will boot your phone in a bootloader mode. Keep the phone connected to the PC, go to the another folder where you place all the files like the boot, VV meta, recovery. Open PowerShell window here. First, we'll flash the boot image so type command fastboot flash boot boot.img. Next type the fastboot flash recovery file name dot img. Last to flash the VV meta. So we'll type the fastboot flash VV meta VV meta dot img. So all the files will flash. Now type the command fastboot flashing lock. On the phone press volume up. Now disconnect the phone. Long press the volume up plus power button till phone reboots. So phone should boot to the OnePlus boot logo. If all the things go well, but if you guess the current boot image corrupt message, then long press the volume down plus power button. Phone will boot to the stock recovery. Now connect your pen drive to the phone which has the update zip file. Now tap install from the storage in the recovery. Select the USB storage and select your update zip file. Flashing will start. Once it gets completed, tap reboot. Now phone must boot to the stock OxyOS. If I go to the about phone and tap version, you can see I am upgraded to the Oxynos A16. To check whether you are locked or not, download the DRM info and the SafetyNet application from the Play Store. In the DRM info, it will show you the security level of L1 and in the SafetyNet, it will pass the SafetyNet. That is, your device is locked now. This is all about the locking the bootloader on any version of Oxynos for the OnePlus Nord 2. If you think I help you, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.